You'll be alright. Do your job. Look at that guy carrying all that bloody piping on his sodding bike. Paddle harder, buddy. Get out of the way. Look at him. Just... And what's he doing? What's this magician up to? Stop waving your hands about, kid. Get out of the sun. You've had too much of it. Seriously, yeah, look at this poor bugger, this woman in black. She'll be roasting, roasting little knick-knicks off. Man splashing water over mangoes, another man looking at shoes in a shop. Man climbing over a counter to spit that disgusting gob full of red juice that comes from a nut that they chew. By an impact is the most vile, filthy taste I've ever have tasted. Worse than Vegemite, which I'm sadly very sorely missing. I love Vegemite so, so much. Oh, kind gentleman. I don't know where he is. He's offered to send me a package uh, containing all the necessary... Oh, here we go. Here, look, thanks, buddy. Oh, send, send me a package with all the things I miss so dearly and I'm going to get him sending me some Vegemite. The problem is that you can't get bloody good toast. They cut it so thin and it's so sweet and they never really toast it right. Give me some Warburton's or some Ovis. Send me some, that's it, I can ask him for some Warburton's or some Ovis as well. <coughs> right, I think we're back, back to where we started this starting video. I'm sorry, it's just been a complete and utter rant, but I'm a, I'm a pissed off man, I really am. Pissed off, I'll tell you another little, it's only a very, not a really story, it's just an anecdote. Uh, just, I stopped in a little shop for some water earlier and by the very time all the guys come out and they want to talk to you, they want to sit you down, they want you to sit down and talk summit to them because you never understand what they're on about they don't understand you, but they want you to talk and they ask you where you come, where you going, how long you been in India, where's your wife, blah, 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 a million times over. They want to take your picture, they want to borrow your camera to take your picture and I'm like, oh yeah. They want to buy my camera off me, they want to know how much dot's worth. Ooh, bloody hell. Anyway, so yeah, you're talking. And then, they, then all of a sudden, when they've had the fill of you, they just say, okay, go now. Now, well, you motherfucker, you real mother rude fucker. Don't you dare sit me down and ask to, to talk to me when all I want to do is get back on the road. And then when you've had your fill, when you've got no more bloody pigeon English, English question to ask, you tell me to go away. Oh, like a bit of fluff, I tell you what, you could slot every one of them straight in the sodly mouths. In the little fluffy lip mouths, give him a fucking sorry. Did you see that brake light? So I didn't. That follow me around, it really switches off your brain. So, mother, I'm sorry I've sworn again, and if you're watching this, I'm sorry I've let you down. I really. Oh, I thought I lost my sunglasses then. No. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're a child who's watched this and you never heard the F word before, then I, I really don't think you should use it until at least you're, until you're at least 16 and you really understand. How significant a word it is to convey your anger. So I think there's too many people, and I met too many young people on this trip, 18 years of age or whatever, who just say it willy-nilly in every sentence. Fuck this, fuck that. And I think, no, I think you've really got to save it. Really put a few of them in the money jar for when you really need to get out your aggression. Because they really help you. They really help me anyway. They might not help you, but they help me. And so, but I'm sorry, mother. I really am. I know you don't like it. I'm sorry, Nana, if you watch this. I'm sorry any other nana who's trying to educate the, the youth of this world the difference between right and wrong and I, I'm, I'm, I'm damaging that so severely. Men with hammers, hammering, hammering, Gurakapo! There's a moment in a sorry! Gurakapo! Two boys walking along! Gurakapo! A car with no wheels! Gurakapo! A pile of old bricks! Gurakapo! A load of old cars with men under their bodies! Gurakapo! And then polishing out to scratch on their car. Go like a box. A picture of a Pepsi. Go like a box. Nah, I'm too full of rage to really work on that one today. Maybe next time. Alright, kids, drive safe, don't swear. Stay out of India, it's not good for you. Go to Thailand, it's much better. Thank you, bye bye.